Thank you, everyone, for coming. We're not going to start yet because the traffic is horrendous. We want to give a chance to those people who'd like to be here and hear everything from the beginning. So talk amongst yourselves, and we'll be back.
Okay, we're going to get started. Hi, everyone. Good evening. I'm Susan Edwards, the Executive Director and CEO of the Frist Art Museum. We're delighted to welcome you here this evening. Thank you so much for braving the weather and the traffic. Um, sorry about that. I was responsible for both of those things. I don't think I did very well. We're so happy you could be with us for the inaugural event for Art, Democracy, and Justice uh, lecture series. As most of you know, this lecture series is organized by Maria Magda Lena Campos Pons, the Cornelius Vanderbilt Endowed Chair and Professor of Art at Vanderbilt University. The evening was made possible through the collaboration and support of Vanderbilt University uh, Department of Art, the offices of the Chancellor and the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at Vanderbilt University, Fisk University, and the Frist Art Museum. We at the Frist have long embraced the position that art can open our eyes and minds to diverse ways of thinking. We also believe that museums should be safe places for conversations and evil, even civil disagreement as we strive to move society toward greater justice and empowerment for all. The exhibitions presented at the Frist earlier this year, dealing with mass incarceration and the civil rights movement in Nashville, generated passionate interest. We're delighted that both exhibitions are continuing to resonate elsewhere as the exhibitions travel to additional venues. Professor Campos Pons is one of the leading artists of her generation and a force of nature. I'm expecting laughter um, there. I'm eternally grateful to my friend and colleague, the late Jane Farver, for introducing me to the art of Magda Campos Pons in 1999 when it was exhibited at the Liszt Visual Arts Center at MIT. In 2011, the first curator, Katie Delmay, organized, I'm gonna ask everyone to actually silence your, your phones right now while I'm thinking about it. Um, in 2011, first curator, Katie Delmay, organized Maria Magdalena Campos Pons Journeys, an exhibition presented at the Frist in the Gordon Contemporary Artist Project Gallery. In January of 2012, the Frist hosted a performance by Campos Pons in which she elaborated upon the ideas about dislocation explored in the exhibition, specifically her place within the African diaspora. While in Nashville, Campos Pons endeared herself to the Vanderbilt community. To their credit and our mutual benefit, she is now a distinguished professor at Vanderbilt and a generous colleague willing to extend her time, talent, connections, goodwill, and, and imagination to benefit not only life on campus, but also in the entire Metro Nashville community. In just a moment, she'll introduce our, the panelists for this evening. But before she begins, I want to, to acknowledge with gratitude the ongoing support for public programs at the Frist provided by the Metro Nashville Arts Commission, the Tennessee Arts Commission, and the National Endowment for the Arts. Please join me in welcoming Professor Maria Magdalena Campos Pons. Surprise. I am not Professor Campos Pons. <laughs> I am Provost Susan Wente um, and also Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs at Vanderbilt University. And Professor Campos Pons asked me to please um, come up and say a few words of welcome also. Um, we are very happy to um, welcome all of you and especially um, wish her our very best as she kicks off this inaugural lecture series. Um, we are indeed, it is our great honor to have her as a member of our faculty and as you heard, although she's not been here very long, she has had connections with the Nashville community and with the Frist Museum um, for quite some time and we are just thrilled beyond belief that she is now here as a, a permanent member of our faculty. I'm especially impressed with how rapidly she has taken on leadership roles 
and that she has taken on really bringing exciting new um, uh, events like this to campus and to Nashville. To have these distinguished visitors here is from across the country and the globe is, is truly a privilege, not just for those of us here tonight, but also those that they've been interacting with over the past couple days. As professor of art and the holder of the Cornelius Vanderbilt Endowed Chair, her reputation, as you've heard, is, is very world-renowned. Uh, Professor Campos Pond's solo and group exhibitions have graced galleries and museums, and especially the Frist, over the years. And here tonight, we're going to witness how the intersections of art, democracy, and justice illustrate the importance in arts, of, arts and humanities for society. And on behalf of Vanderbilt University, and I think the higher education world, really how our investing in arts and investing in humanities is so critical in terms of ensuring that all of society and all of our community can benefit from actually experiencing um, both the exhibits that are here, but also events like today. I think the connections of those terms, and I hope all of you get a chance to walk up front and, and um, see uh, some of the people who are here tonight with an art, democracy, and justice exhibit of their own. Those terms might feel especially relevant in 2018, but history shows us that art has always played a key role in the pursuit of democracy and justice here in the United States and in the world. And as my art history uh, uh, daughter, art history major daughter reminds me, art often reflects the historical moment in which it is produced. So through the creative talents of artists around the world, we really get to see contemporary issues in new ways and to raise our awareness, to help change our thinking, and to especially motivate our actions. I'm sure the discussion tonight will produce fresh insights, hopefully fresh actions, and I'm really thrilled that I'm able to be here tonight to share in this with you. Thank you for joining me and everyone tonight. And now, I will welcome Professor Magda Campos-Pons to the stage. So good evening. Thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. I want to express my deep gratitude to Professor, to Provost Wente from University to introduce me tonight, I want to express my gratitude to Susan Edward from the Fritz for being here tonight. And I also want to acknowledge uh, Yamal Sheets, who is in the audience from Fisk University here and is one of the partners in this program. Um, one of the mandate of my uh, position, accepting my position at Vanderbilt, was really to create synergies and communication and ways to bring together the community. So I am extremely proud to present this program in collaboration with both uh, the Fritz Museum, which is a wonderful a major museum in town, as well with Fisk uh, University. Um, I want to say that I, am a, I feel like a dreamer, really, to have the opportunity this evening to have in town uh, Holland Coder, Adam Shinshik, and Olu Ogibe. Uh, when I was thinking about this lecture and to introduce in ideas about how to have conversation of important and conversation that could be uh, transcendent in our time at this moment in the city, I have in mind always uh, these three thinkers. I have in mind always uh, the possibility of bringing here um, both uh, Olu, Adam, and Holland. Uh, I'm going to start, before I introduce them properly, uh, I'm going to start uh, showing to you guys uh, a small piece, six minute piece of a performance piece that I uh, produced for a Guggenheim Museum uh, in 2015, I believe, so I am not betraying myself in that. And then when I see you, uh, when I let you see that piece, uh, I will continue uh, uh, with the conversation. Uh, in the topic, art, democracy, and justice, I am thinking of just an example in which proposed